You heard it. Georgia's all-time leading scorer, Janet Harris. Congratulations. say uh, first and foremost I want to say thank you Jesus um, I am so blessed to be here today um, still in shock I just want to thank the George uh, State Hall of Fame and the current inductees I want to thank my family uh, my brother and sister who are not here at home my mother and father who's here in spirit my brother Nate my road dog who's always there for me my friends my guests my teammates who are here. I want to thank all of my um, coaches that ever coached me. Growing up in Chicago, I want to say this. I was an uh, asthmatic child. I was a sick child. Sports helped and saved me. I did everything. The more I did, the more I noticed my breathing was becoming stronger and stronger. I drove my mother crazy because I played all kinds of sports. She would dress me up in dresses. By the time I would come in, I would come back home looking like Farina from the Little Rascals. And she was like, you're killing me. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. So I started looking at the guys playing basketball. They always played basketball in the alley. I started playing basketball in an alley with a, rim, a bicycle rim or a milk crate nailed to a telephone pole. That's when I first started. And as I grew a little older, there were no uh, girls basketball teams. So I always played with teams on the board, with the boys teams. When I was a little older, I got a chance to go to the playground, which I lost my mind because I had rims with nets. <laughs> then I went on to high school. I had to get permission to play basketball in high school for my mother because of my asthma. And she went out ahead and let me play. I attended John Marshall High School. I played under the legendary coach, Dorothy Gators. She assured my mother that she would keep, keep an eye on me and make sure I was okay. I would like to thank Coach Dorothy Gators for her sacrifices, her teachings, her fundamentals, teaching me toughness, and being my foundation. I played center throughout my whole career at Marshall, but in my mind, I wanted to be a big guard. I watched Mark McGuire and loved everything he did, and I prided myself after him. The next step was getting ready to go to college. And this is how I got to Georgia. The end of my junior year, I attended basketball camp in uh, Millersville, Georgia. I kept in touch with Bernadette Lott. I loved the weather, partial to the south, and I was like, I wonder if they got a school down here. Being green, not realizing how good I really was, I said it was time to make a, a decision to go to college. Nobody really wanted me to go to Georgia, but I was going to Georgia. Did not care, I was going to Georgia. There was times Coast thought I wasn't gonna come, but I was coming to Georgia. When I got there, and it was time to sign a sign with Georgia, and there was a lot of negativity. People were saying everything, you know, why would you choose Georgia? We never heard of Georgia. My response was, oh, you will. <laughs> enter, enter coach Andy Landers, young, confident, with the mentality, anything is possible, really. Having the confidence and determination to recruit the top athletes like everyone else, some of them thought he was out of his league, some of them th didn't think he had a chance in hell. He was in an up-and-coming program, and I wanted to be part of an up-and-coming program. And we had the same vision. I want to thank you, Coach, for bringing out the best in me and helping me adapt to the college level. You were tough as hell. And the legendary practices, Lord have mercy. They were intense. It was like a basketball game. And there were times I didn't really like you, especially during practice, because I thought you had lost your damn mind. <laughs> Everything had to do with running. There was no walking. You couldn't walk to get anything. You couldn't walk to get water. You had to run. Only time you could walk was when it was in the practice, which we ran because we weren't sure if it was really over. Your motto was one for all and all for one. And I think that's why 
We're so thick as thieves today. I just want to thank you for being a mentor, a big brother, a father figure because of your sternness. Your nickname on the team was, here comes your daddy. Your daddy is looking for you. I just want to thank you for being there, doing and after basketball. And I want to say again, thank you to the Georgia State Hall of Fame. Congratulations to the inductees. Good night, and thank you so much.